A blood gas analysis is performed to evaluate vital functions in the critically ill patient. The blood gas analysis provides information on the acid-base balance and gives you parameters such as oxygen, pH, carbon dioxide, and bicarbonate, together with electrolytes and hemoglobin. The information helps in making diagnostic decisions in order to initiate the right treatment and to monitor the patient's response to the treatment. Since these findings guide your intervention, accuracy is essential, and using arterial blood allows you to assess oxygen status. It is important to perform the arterial puncture in the correct way in order to prevent pre-analytical errors that can lead to incorrect results. Be sure to always follow your local procedures. Before performing the arterial puncture, confirm the patient's identity. If a recent change in the oxygen flow rate has been made, Wait approximately 20 to 30 minutes before sampling. Then locate the radial artery. Clean the puncture site with an alcohol swab. For self-filling syringes, Preset the plunger to the recommended volume. Locate the artery again. You can use your index and middle fingers to identify the path of the artery. Hold the needle at a 45 degree angle or less and puncture the skin right in front of your index finger, making sure that the needle insertion follows the path of the artery. Stop the insertion when you see a flash of blood entering the syringe and hold the position until you have collected the desired blood volume. Withdraw the needle and apply pressure to the puncture site. Remove the needle using a safety device. Gently tap the syringe so that air bubbles are forced to the top. Expel air bubbles through the tip cap or into a piece of gauze. Mix the sample thoroughly to dissolve the heparin. Label the syringe with the patient ID and immediately transport the sample to the ABL blood gas analyzer. Enter the patient and sample ID into the ABL analyzer to ensure that the results are linked to the right patient. Mix the sample again to ensure that it is homogeneous and place the syringe in the inlet to aspirate the sample. Shortly after, you will receive the results from the ABL analyzer that provide you with vital information to aid your diagnostic decisions. Watch the other videos to understand the acid-base balance and learn how you can read the report using tic-tac-toe.